really good about it, but it's uh, it's hard to come back. I guess at my age or any age, you know, the, playing music for a couple hours is just like playing football or something. You know, you go and play for yeah. two hours. Except athletes are in the prime of their age, prime uh, genetic specimen, and they exercise and train. Yeah. Musicians like drink, sleep bad, or something, you know, and go and play for two hours. So it's a little bit hard. It's hard work. Yeah. You know, we just did seven weeks of tour in North America. Yeah. Okay. So you get to this point and this dehydration and everything where it doesn't matter how much you like playing, you're so tired, you're like, I just want to sleep in the bus, you know? I like music. I like to play music. But for me, it's also partially mathematics, but mathematic is just logic. You know, it's always the same. And music, uh, people understand it, you know? There's the beauty of it. But there can be hard mathematics, too, that are just ugly. You know, like some people are interested in just abrasive, uh, rhythm, some noise, you know, some yeah. techno repetition. There's different elements, harmony of the floating spheres, and people can only understand that stuff at on certain levels, you know. It's crazy. Yeah, great. But for me, it's like a, a limitless, uh, abstract playground, you know. Well, the whole world had a lot of time during the pandemic. So there was a lot of time then. <laughs> yeah. I had some extra time, right? Yeah. yeah. But I own a recording studio. So I go there six days a week, okay. pretending that it's a job, except I don't care what I do. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter if I ever work one day more, but I really enjoy to create things for me and the sounds. You know? Yeah. So I just go, everything's set up. It's not like a commercial studio with all the mics against the wall or something and all the, everything in its cases. Everything is like a big mess to be played, you know, ready to go. Yeah. Well, that's good. I don't think about it. I wanted to uh, influence people to, for them to do their own music. So not an influence musically, you know, necessarily, the influence I want to make is that we could, we don't need validation from co uh, some corporation or some business to create culture with each other, to create an event, to, to make a record, to share ideas, to form bands, and to play concerts, to go camping and play music, just to do things, you know, to go to other countries. We don't need permissions for that, this stuff because it probably won't happen, you know? It probably won't happen. It's so much cheaper to, to make a personality and then they have a thumb drive, get some dancers, you know? Yeah. Just like jump on the stage to a thumb drive. And like, but it's harder to make this other stuff, I think. But that's what I wanted to influence people that they didn't need my permission or my okay or validation, you know, so that's good. One world tour with just playing three hours, but I was interested in that, you know, like, sometimes you hear stories of people like, oh my God, they play three hours. Not like the, the Cure or something. I think The Cure has so many good songs, but then they also have like, once they go to dis disintegration, they have a good song in this style, and then they can play three hours where you don't even care about those songs. It sounds good, but it's just like the same thing. And we don't do that. We're just like play like songs, you know, they're not, they're not the same. And I, th I wanted to do that once, you know, to go everywhere and just present that. But now we just play around two, two hours and 15 or something, just uh, a good amount. Yeah. But I feel like one hour and 15 minutes is way too short. 
There's no way I can play something from every era. There's no way I can, I can't, there's no way to do it right in that amount of time. Yeah. I've never been to Lisbon still. Really? Crazy, right? <laughs> but this time, we hopefully, we'll play and everything goes cool. But I really want to go yeah. my whole life. It's so strange. Yeah, I have, I've, I've always had a couple of Portuguese friends uh, in California. It's, at the turn of the century, they, you know, you read Steinbeck in these Canary Row, these books from the Depression. They hired Croatians and Portuguese to fish sardines all the way down the coast, and they were so good at it, there is no more. <laughs> you know, to feed everybody during yeah. the Great Depression. Yeah, yeah. But America got very strange right then, and they made it so only two people can immigrate every year from Portugal. Really? To America. The yeah. lottery. Yeah. Two people. Yeah. It's a lot Unless it's some special thing. Two people. Yeah. Crazy. You know, so the the people that I knew were like uh, third generation, but tight families, fishing people, very cool. Yeah. Maybe we might get lucky and do Brazil next year. Never played there either. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. For your time. I hope you really enjoy the show. Yeah.